Hey internet, so today is an exciting day for me because I'm getting out of the house and going to Walmart. I know, hey, okay? so exciting. Um, so I thought I would wear a little bit of a spring in inspired outfit that is still appropriate for a rainy day because it's pretty miserable outside today, but... I guess, you know, springtime is supposed to be a state of mind um, rather than a state of weather. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but I really like this outfit and it is actually pretty much what I used to wear when I was in England all the time. So I thought it might be fun to show you guys. Um, pretty much everything is from when I was in college. So I guess advice of the day is to recycle all your old clothes um, with um, sort of new accessories. But anyway, we start at the feet as always. I am wearing some little shoe boots. These are from New Look. They were extremely cheap, um, but they've kind of held their own really well since I've had them for about two years now. Um, they're fake suede with um, patent leather detailing. And then I'm just wearing some Jack Wills leggings. Um, these are a recent purchase. I did an online order from them because I miss them. Um, and I really like these. Normally I always wear Lululemon leggings because they are more multi-purpose and they're reversible. I can wear them to go running, I can wear them under a dress like this. But these ones from Jack Wills are cotton instead of being Luan, and so they're a lot thinner and they add less bulk to my outfit, which is why I wanted them, and I do really like them. And then my dress is actually from Primark, um, and if you've never heard of Primark, it's pretty awesome. It's kind of a UK equivalent of um, Forever 21, and they have extremely cheap things that don't last forever, but this one's lasted pretty well, it's still holding on, um, and it has little shoulder pads actually, and I remember when I bought it, I was really hesitant because I hate shoulder pads so much, but it, it actually gives it some shape because the clothes there are kind of not tailored, not very expensive. If you buy an inexpensive piece of clothing and it has little pads at the shoulders, it gives it more shape and it looks more tailored to your body. So I really like it. And then at the back, if I show you, the back actually scoops down a little bit, which is sort of fun. I adore um, anything with a flowery print, so I really like this dress. And then just to show you what I will be wearing on top, this is sort of the new part of the outfit really my little karma jacket so I've had this for almost a year now but I've hardly worn it just because I didn't get it during a season where I would wear it I got it last fall and it featured in my one of my very first video tutorials my Elena tutorial because it is the jacket from Vampire Diaries so of course I had to have it if you are considering buying it please buy it on sale because it's obscenely expensive um, that's what I did and I do love it and I think it looks really cute over feminine pieces like little blouses or dresses like this one so that's what I will be wearing over my dress um, to protect me from the harsh west coast weather which is really just a semi cloudy rainy day um, and then I'm just going to be carrying my vintage handbag that was my grandma's. You guys saw this like every other weekend in Hong Kong because it's quite a small bag. It doesn't hold a lot, but sometimes recently I found that that's a good thing because it limits the amount of junk I can bring with me. Um, so yeah, I just thought it went well with the outfit and, yeah, and I didn't want to carry around too much stuff. So that is a completed outfit. I really like it. It is very me and I think you know that it's very me because most of the pieces I've had for ages. So... Yeah, I guess that's my outfit of the day, and since this is also a vlog, I will be taking you with me on my little Walmart adventure, so I'll see you there. Hey internet, so I thought I would share with you a fascinating part of my day. We are at a warehouse near the Uptown Shopping Center, and this is a place where they store like all the roofing and all the roofing tiles and my mom is up here trying to decide what color to get for our new and revamped roof so I thought I would show you why not since I'm waiting in the car and I have absolutely nothing to do so um, I think she's gonna go for Oxford gray but my counsel was to go for oh someone's walking by for the slightly darker twilight gray um, not because it's prettier than Oxford Grey, but because it is named Twilight. I know, I make the best decisions, don't I? Yay! So we're at the Uptown Shopping Center, which is like one of my favorite places to come shop. It has a Starbucks, which is where I'm heading, and then we'll be going to Walmart! Yay! 
and I'm gonna try not to buy too many cosmetics because I'm on my little cosmetic ban. Um, but they still have lots of fun stuff and I'm gonna take you around and it'll be really fun. Um, you guys have been here once before with me but I didn't really take you around the shopping center that much. It's actually built up a lot since we last came here, like check that out. They're building condos and offices here, I think. Yeah, I'll show you what I order at Starbucks. Okay, so here's my drink, and it looks really odd, I know, but I get this sometimes um, because I don't like too much milk in my coffee. So I asked them to do a double espresso shot and put it in a tall cup, and it's really cheap. It's like under $3. And then I add in a dash of milk um, just to whiten it a little bit, and then some chocolate powder. So it has like a chocolate flavor, and it's like a delicious, milky, chocolatey espresso shot. <laughs> Are in Walmart now. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit shaky, but I'm just trying to look for some conditioner. And I don't really need any, but I'm sort of starting to run out. I usually use the Aussie Three Minute Miracle, but they never sell it here at Walmart. I have to get it from the drugstore. So I thought I would have a look at what they actually have to see if there's anything good. This is my favorite line of shampoos. I use this one. So I could try this. In fact, I probably will try this to see if it's any good. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. This looks really interesting. I'm going to try this. So the next two things I'm getting are some razor blades. What do you want? Everyone needs them. And then I also found these really cool little elastics for when I do my hair braided, which is awesome because they're about half the size of regular elastics, so much easier to use, but they won't snag my hair like little tiny plasticky ones. Just in case you guys have not heard enough about this body lotion for me, I just wanted to sh show it to you in its home in Walmart. This is my absolute favorite body lotion ever. The vanilla sugar is probably my all-time favorite, um, but for summer I also really like the pineapple. And I've actually never tried the mango mandarin, so I thought I might try it today, unless I get a coconut one. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, by the time you comment, it will be too late for you to tell me. But I think mango mandarin sounds really, really nice, and it even has avocado oil in it. They all have natural butters and oils in them, but they're all a bit different from each other. And then finally, before I leave the, the cosmetics aisle, I am going to get one nail polish. It's my little sort of treat for being good and not buying any makeup. And it is an Essie polish. I think I'm going to be using this mostly on my toes, but it is just the prettiest peach and I've never seen it before. It's called Mamba. Let's see that if it will focus. Um, there are so many gorgeous polishes here. I really adore Essie and it's a pretty good price too. It's not super cheap but it's not super expensive either. I own like so many of these pinks um, and I adore the Lux effects. I have both of the gold one and the white one that you can see right here. Um, but I know they have new ones that are coming out for summer but my Walmart is not carrying them yet which is very very sad but cannot be helped for now and it does give me an excuse to come back so I am now just so you can see that it is happening leaving the cosmetics aisle and heading over to food okay so in my house there are two supernatural creatures that live there one of them is a bobby pin fairy who steals all my bobby pins I actually just picked some up and the other one is the sock monster who most of the time lives in my dryer I guess or maybe the washing machine and they just disappear like to, never to be seen again so I'm gonna buy some more sports socks for when I go running and when I wear ankle booties as well and I don't know which ones to get hearts or leopard spots I'm thinking hearts because it has like more pink and stripes and they're just cuter Ooh, this one has pulp what is this look at the little worm <gasps> so cute I don't know what do you guys think this one is really cute too very very tempting I think I might get both okay 
so we are now in the food aisle picking up some groceries. This Walmart is awesome for that. It has a really good selection of things actually. I thought I would show you my favorite brand of pasta. And I'm going to pick this up too because I always drink the same beverages. Coffee, tea with honey, coffee, tea with honey. Um, so I thought I would try something new. Pomegranate raspberry green tea. And this is a good brand. It doesn't have any sugar in it or anything that I could find on the label at least. So we'll see how it tastes. What else? Oh my goodness, there was something I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is one of my absolute favorite things to get at Walmart. This is Italian tuna and it is actually in olive oil and if you guys are thinking that that is really crazy that I would want to eat something with oil in it instead of water then that's because you've never tried this. The calories are pretty reasonable. They come in these little um, cans that are a great portion size and it is so delicious. Not to mention olive oil is really good for you. So. I adore this and this is pretty much the only tuna I ever eat so yeah my mom also likes these glass bottles of tomato sauce as well and I guess that's it guys I'm just gonna go and pick up some vegetables and fruits and yeah I will see you in my next video